<laughs> we are live from the quarantine still still we're still in the month of july which is awesome and uh we're still talking about gratitude we're still talking about uh teamwork um and this is the last day of geese week at training for warriors uh one of our our more exalted um animals that we have um i think this is a lovely lovely fact about geese and I, how do you guys feel about geese? Are you pro geese? Are you are you are you negative geese? Are you like some people have some pretty intense emotional reactions to geese? No, uh, nothing. Got nothing. All right. My mom loves geese, and she gets so excited. And we live in Ohio, so there's tons of Canadian geese in Ohio. But every time she sees them, she's like a little kid, like so excited to see the geese. You know, so it it makes me happy when I see geese. But um, one, of the, one of the beautiful things about their level of teamwork is that if scientists have researched, I like how I start this with scientists have said, so it makes it seem totes legit, right? Um, scientists have said that um, when a goose falls out of the V formation because of illness or injury, two other geese fall out with it and will stay with that goose and protect it until it's able to fly again and it'll protect it from predators and, and help it out. And, um, and it, we're, it's like talking about not just being in here, but also helping each other out. And I feel like that's one of the things that's lovely about the secret group is when we, when we put our struggles on there, when we put our, our um, accomplishments on there, and we all raise each other up, we all protect each other, we all bring each other up. I think that's like a really lovely part of that. So we're, we're the geese, and we're honking at each other, and we're cheering each other on. Bob, you've been through Geese Week before. You've been through this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> guys, we're going to start with our jumping jacks. If you're at home and you can't do jumping jacks, go ahead and do body squats and or, and or do arm movements with us, all right? So I'm going to count the first five. You're going to count the second five and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Awesome. Second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Best set. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, go, hit. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, go, hit. Nice, Bob, loud and proud. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, go, hit. Awesome. All right, guys, let's start on the floor. I don't know about you, but my hips, I'm feeling my hips today. So we're gonna start with our shin boxes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my shin in front of me, my knee comes to my foot. If I can do this with a straight back, I'm gonna have my arms raised. If I can't do it with a straight back, I'm gonna put my hands behind me in order to keep my, in order to keep my back flat. I'm going to come up, I'm going to transition my feet, come forward, and then I transition to the other side. I come back up, my feet stay in the same place. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, Bob, I'm laughing with you. All right, taking it to the other side. So your feet always stay planted, and then you're moving through those hip flexors to transition yourself from side to side. Oh, yeah, feeling the love. Nice, straight back, Heather. Great job. 
All right. Next, we're going to stay in the shin box position, but what I want to do is I want to line up my belly button with my knee. With a flat back, I'm just going to hinge over. I'm going to bend over. So I'm not going to curl my back. I want my back as flat as possible. Take a nice couple deep breaths there, and then go back into your shin box transition. Come to the other side. Yep. Rotate. And then just get that nice bend. You should really feel this in the back of that glute and in that hip. Couple nice big deep breaths. Let's take it back to the other side. One more stretch on each side. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, coming back up, switching it out. Woo, bending over. All right, nice job guys. Let's go into my favorite, the Cossack stretch. Leg comes directly out from hip, staying over those wrists with their shoulders going back and forth, getting those wrists to warm up, getting that nice ankle flexion in the back. Got a nice Zoom team happening this morning. Yeah. Give me 10, and then I want you to switch it out to the other side. So if you're at home, uh, the weights that we'll need for this workout is going to be for a bench pre uh, a press from the ground and then the 21 gun salute with the curls. So those are going to be a couple burners there for your arms. And then we can use those weights for the rest of the circuit. So then we're going to come back to that original side and we're going to do five lifts. Five. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah, you don't have a mat. You okay? I, I'm sorry, you don't have a mat. I forgot to grab you a mat. You okay? You all right? Uh, five, five on each side. All right, let's go ahead and sit back on those heels. Let's go ahead, rotate those wrists. Forward, and then rotate the wrists back. Come up into a high kneeling position. Arms out to side, arms really tense. Bringing my head forward to the side, to the back, to the side, and forward. Go five circles that way, and then take five circles the other way. Sorry, sweetie. those arms tense, those glutes locked out. Ah, cracky crack, yikes. All right, now we're gonna lay down on our bellies. I am gonna put my left hand underneath my left shoulder, my right hand is extended, and then I'm gonna take that leg and try to reach that foot over to that hand that's extended so I'm getting a really nice pec stretch with this. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Breathe into it. Give me some nice deep breaths. Keep that other leg straight. Now you're not trying to touch that foot to hand, but if you can get that foot flat on the ground, that would be awesome. All right, guys, let's switch it out to the other side. Oh, what did we do to our pecs? Oh my goodness. Breathing into it. All right, 
Coming back into that kneeling position. Taking my hands forward, I'm going to take my right hand and bring it underneath my left arm, trying to get my butt to push back onto my heels and trying to get that shoulder to the ground. And then I'm going to rotate out. So coming back through, and then I'm rotating out. I'm doing five on each side, trying to get that shoulder low to the ground, if not touching the ground. And then switching it out to the other side. Next, guys, let's stand up. Let's grab our resistance bands. If you don't have a resistance band at home, you can always grab like a belt or a towel or something. So then we're going to touch the front of our thighs. We're going to touch the back of our thighs 10 times. These are our over and over and over and overs. Yay. Trying to get that band close to our heads and trying to get those arms as straight as possible. See, Bob, we're using the band. Aren't you happy? Yes. yes. All right. From there, what we're going to do is just come down to the top of our shoulders and back up. Just to the top and back up 10 times. <sighs> Lining up our wrists with our shoulders and then pressing out, bringing those shoulder blades together at the back. Now we're going to take the band up underneath our pits, our armpits, hooking our thumbs, and then pressing out. This feels particularly hard this morning. <laughs> All right, stepping on our bands. Feet aren't wide, feet are narrow because we're going to do our good morning. So we're going to grab down low on the band and then we're going to bring our hips forward at the top, coming back over. Again, guys, don't lose those lats. Stay in those lats. Don't curve that back. Make sure you keep those lats engaged. Then from there, you're going to go into your bent row. So you're still grabbing down low, and then you're squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back. Excuse me, I have a visitor on my mat. All right, we're still staying on our bands. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our upright rows. Then we're going to widen out our feet. We're going to put the bands over our heads, over our necks if you can. If not, you can always do a front, raise, a front squat with the front rack position and then go ahead and give me 10. Getting that depth. Yeah. Woo. 
All right. Everybody feeling warmed up? Let's grab water. <coughs> and then, as far as the rest of our warm up is concerned, we're going to go through each one of the exercises in our Tabata just to make sure that we're familiar with it. We got the right weights, we're all good with form. So, to, re to remind you, a Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for four minutes. Yeah. So we're going to do squats and single leg inchworms. We just warmed up our squats, so we're okay. But now we're going to do our single leg inchworm. If you can't do a single leg, you can do a double leg inchworm. So my regular inchworm is I come down to the ground. I'm getting that nice hamstring stretch. I'm walking out. I'm making sure I hit this high plank and then I'm walking back in again. All right. If you're doing a single leg, you're going to bring your, your knee forward really low. Then you're going to walk it out. You're going to come back in and stand up. All right. So go ahead and give me five on each side or give me 10 of a regular inchworm, whichever. All right. So when we're actually doing this in the circuit, you'll do all of your inchworms of single leg on one side and then the next time we come back to that exercise you'll do it on the other leg all right so i want to make sure i get my butt to the same level as my shoulders in this high plank i'm going to come back in and stand it up <laughs> just a plank if you want to make it harder you can do a push-up at the end bob but otherwise we're just going to stick with this. So I want to stay low in that single leg when I come down, and I want to stay low in that single leg when I walk it back and then up. So when we're actually doing the circuit and we're doing all, all on one side, it's going to be really, it's going to be hard, right? Right? And again, you can do both legs, that's fine. There you go. Nice job, guys. Just five on each side. All right. Next, we have our lateral lunges. So for my lateral lunge, I'm going to lunge out, and then I'm going to step into that lunge, all right? I'm going to lunge out, I'm going to step into it, all right? So I'm stepping into the leg that is bent. So we're not doing a lateral lunge in return, we're just doing a lateral lunge. Now, when we're actually in the circuit itself, if you want to make this harder, you grab one of your dumbbells or your kettlebell for it, all right? Go ahead and give me five on each side. I want you to really get that butt back. And I want you to get a nice, long, long, deep lunge out of this. All right. Nice job, guys. Yep. So when we're doing those lunges, make sure all that weight comes into this bent leg and then that's the leg that pulls you up, all right? You're not pushing off with that long leg. Next, we have our kneeling overhead tricep extensions. So grab one of your weights, come into this kneeling position. I want you to squeeze your glutes. You're gonna hold your, your dumbbell in this nested hand position. Your elbows are in tight to your head and you're gonna extend up. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. <sighs> Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those glutes. Ah. All right. Body saws, everybody's favorite body saws. Yeah, yeah, it's a theme. It's a theme. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the strict plank. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push back so my shoulders are back from my elbows. And then I'm going to bring my body forward. So see where I am with my toes? Coming back, coming forward. Now what I'm not doing is I'm not bringing my butt up in the air when I push back. I want you to keep that butt at the same level as your shoulders as you go forward and back. Forward and back. Go ahead and give me 10. Your obliques and your abs should be on fire with this one, all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, go ahead for that one, and you're going to um, give me dead bugs, opposite uh, arm, opposite leg. Okay, is that all right? Okay, cool. Yeah, I could, I could, that would definitely hurt. All right, guys. From there, we got our RDLs. Ah, oh, the landscapers are here. One second, I got to shut the door. <laughs> Damn it. The, the leaf blower guys, so they're going to blow leaves in here. Uh. Should do the workout schedule based on the landscaper schedule. They're going to blow leaves in here if I don't shut the door. All right, guys, grabbing your weights for your RDLs. So my RDLs, squeezing those glutes. Bringing my hands forward, staying in those lats, bringing the butt to that back wall, feeling those hamstrings activate and come back up again. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nice, Heather. Ah. All right. Body size RDLs. Split squats. All right, I'm gonna grab my lighter weights. And I, for the split squats, you can either use weights or you don't have to use weights. It's totally up to you. But for my split squats, what I wanna do is that toe is up in the back the entire time. I'm gonna come down and I'm only gonna come up partially. All right, I'm gonna come down. I'm not gonna fully extend at the top. So go ahead and give me five on the right and five on the left, so I'm not locking out that leg with this one. <sighs> Switching it out. Again, you can use dumbbells. You don't have to. This is hard with just body weight. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, and they also do the Romanian one, where uh, a Bulgarian one, where they put their foot up and then they do it with the weight on their back. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> so not all the way up, Bob. You have to. Okay. All right. So now, guys, we're on the ground, and then I'm grabbing my heavier weights for this one. I'm going to go into my glute my glute bridge and then I'm going to do a bench a press with this right so my uh, my triceps are touching the ground I'm pressing up and I'm coming back down but I'm keeping my butt up the entire time that I'm doing this all right so go ahead and give me 10 of those I'm keeping my elbows in tight or at a 45 degree angle right I'm never bringing my elbows out keeping those elbows here or down and then I'm keeping my weights at about a 45 degree angle in front of me. So they're here, all right? Pressing out and in. Got 10 of those. Knee grabs, we're not gonna do the knee grabs because I wanna get, I wanna get on with it. But you know knee grabs. Legs out straight, arms in tight to your chest, throwing them forward, coming back down. The second part of that circuit is gonna be swimmers. Again, we're not gonna do those, I'm just gonna demo them. But I'm on my, on my belly, my hands are splayed out. I'm bringing my hands in as I come up. I wanna feel this in my glutes, not in my lower back. Arms forward, coming, coming back in. Squeezing those shoulder blades as I come back in, bringing that upper body up. Then, oh, that's, that's it, all right. Those are all the exercises. So let's grab some water real quick. I'm gonna set the timer. We're gonna start with 20 seconds of squats Rest for 10 seconds, 
And then we're gonna do our single leg inchworms for 20 seconds, all on one leg. We go back to our squats. We do our single leg inchworm on the other leg. So it's really try hard to remember which leg you started with, okay? Grabbing some water. Yeah, Josh had a different workout for today, and I was like, no, no, we're doing Tabatas, because I love them. <laughs> All right, guys, we should be ready to go. Again, if you want to do your squat with a, with a uh, dumbbell, go ahead and grab that to make it a little bit harder. We're starting in three, two, one, go. Ah, go, go, there we go. Making sure you hit depth. Take your time, take your time, get that depth. We got three seconds left. Now I got my single leg inchworm or my inchworm, whichever one. We got five more seconds before we start. And we're going. So getting that knee forward over that ankle coming forward with it, getting into that plank, that high plank, coming low, coming back up. If you can, try not to touch that foot to the ground. Whoops. All right. I only got two out of that, that's, but that's okay. Going back into our squats again. Was that? Speaking of the devil, there we go. Jo Coach Josh Sabra, devil incarnate, comes in. All right, and switching it out. Remember what leg you did your inchworms on. We're switching it out to the other leg. And we're going deep in that single leg inchworm, deep, low back. Make sure to get that butt at the same level as your shoulders as you come back. If you're doing a double leg inchworm with that one, a regular inchworm, and you're having a hard time keeping those legs straight, keep those legs out wide. All right, I want you to get those legs straight and we're going into our squats. Going again, going to our original leg for our inchworms. Woo! Here we go. Oops, other leg. Coming back up. Taking your time. All right, going back to my squats. This is gonna be our last set of each. Last set! And we're going. Getting low, getting low, getting deep. Nice job, guys. All right. Going back to our inchworms. Three, two, one. Bob meets pain and fear with laughter. He laughs at it. Ha ha. Ugh. Guys, we're gonna take a little bit of rest and then we're gonna go into our next circuit, all right? So grab some water. Yeah. 
Ah. So I want you to rest while I demo this next circuit. We're gonna be doing our lateral lunges. So lateral lunge, butt to back wall, long. Come back in, lateral lunge. Step into that bent leg. Then we have our kneeling overhead tricep extension. So I wanna make sure that my glutes are on, really, really pushing the earth apart with my knees, arms coming close to my head, and I'm going into this full extension, making sure that I get those arms straight at the top, all right? Try not to have your elbows out to the sides. Make sure to have your elbows in so you're really, really getting those triceps, all right? We're gonna rest for about 20 more seconds, and then we're gonna go into it, all right? How you feeling, Bob? Bob's feeling good. Sarah, how you feeling? Thumbs up from Sarah, Reba? Yeah, yeah. All right, hopefully all my Zoomers are feeling good too. All right, guys. We're going, we're going. Let me get my timer to not hate me, which is hard because it does its own thing. Okay, we're starting in three, two, one. Lateral lunge. Stepping out, stepping into that bent leg. So Heather, stepping out, then step into this leg. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yep, nice, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do many different variations of these lateral lunges. All right, now we're going into our kneeling overhead tricep extension. And you're going. Bring those hips forward, really squeeze those glutes. Keep that rib cage down. Don't extend your rib cage out, guys, right? You want to keep your rib cage tucked. Uh, two, one. Coming back up into my lateral lunge. Again, guys, if you want to make this harder, you can always grab a dumbbell. And we're going. So, Bob, you were doing it right the first set. Step into it. <laughs> Step into it. Here, and then here. <laughs> nope. Yeah, step into the bent leg. There it is, there it is. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. All right. The, those lateral lunges and lateral lunge returns baffle the best of us. Yeah. Squeezy, squeezies, those glutes, guys. Two, one. Go back into it. Sometimes our brains are on autopilot. My brain was very much on autopilot this morning. I was supposed to train Marie at 9 a.m. today, and instead I got up at six, I got up and was here at six, because I wasn't even thinking that we changed our schedule. Just like those autopilot things, you know? All right, coming back into it. Two, one. Uh. Uh, squeeze, 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 guys. Keep those rib cages down. Knees pushing apart. It's going to help activate those glutes. Full extension. Right, going back into my lateral lunges. Stepping out. Stepping into that bent leg. Stepping out. Bent leg, yeah. There we go. Really pull that butt to that back wall, guys. Two, one. This is our last set of kneeling overhead tricep extensions. Last set. Two, one, go. Here you go, here you go. Two, one. Oh, 
two, one. <laughs> Coach Josh, can you see if the landscapers are done leaf blowing and then open up the doors again? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys, you are going to rest while I demo this next part of the circuit. So body saws and RDLs. Body saws are hard because it's hard to know what your butt is doing, all right? But you want to keep your butt at the same level as your shoulders. Now I have that problem. <laughs> what is my butt doing at any given moment? Doing? What is my butt doing? So my shoulders are back off my elbows. My shoulders are forward of my elbows and I'm keeping that, that horizontal line, right? I'm not bringing that butt up. Staying low with it, coming forward and back. You're standing up, and then you're gonna go into your RDLs. So for my RDLs, I'm in this hinge position, coming forward, really squeezing those glutes at the top, all right? So get water, we're gonna get a little bit more rest, then we're going to go for it. Thanks, Coach Josh. Woo! It's a hard workout getting those garage doors open. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> All right, guys. Where's my timer? Here it is. Let me fight with the timer for a second. Then we're going into it. All right, so we got our body saw, so get on the ground. Why, why? All right, three, two, one, ah, go. Body saws, my butt's down, going forward, going back. Guys, you should feel your abs, your obliques on fire with this. And we're switching out to our RDLs. And go. Boom. Stay in those lats. Don't let those arms come out of the sockets. Stay, keep those arms really engaged. Pretend like you have towels stuck in your armpits that you're trying not to drop. And you're really feeling those hamstrings as you come over. All right, going back to our body saws. Body saw. Body saw. Body saw. Body saw. You got to give me body saw. <laughs> got to give me body saw. Bob singing the body saw sign. Sign, sign, it's very nice. Uh, forward and back, keeping that butt down. Nice, Bob. Ah. RDLs, RDL party. So guys, you just play with the bending your knees in order to feel this in your hamstrings, right? It's gonna be different for each person and their physiology. As soon as you feel those hamstrings activate, come forward. Bring those hips forward at the top. Squeeze those glutes. Arms stay long. Ugh, body saws. What the what? Who came up with this craziness? Probably somebody in CrossFit. Back and forth, guys, back and forth. You got this. Butt down. Abs should be on fire. RDLs. Woo! No graceful way to get out. No, you are right, Bob. There is no graceful way to get out of it. Ha. Ha. Here we go, here we go. All right, guys, this is our last set of each. Last set. Last set. Oh my goodness, last set. last set. There we go, there we go. 
It can't just be Coach Josh yelling out best set. <laughs> Fun circuit. Now we're going to go into our partial split squats and our dumbbell press glute bridge, one of my favorites. I think the dumbbell press glute bridge is, is super, super fun. But for my uh, split squats, again, you're resting while I'm demoing. What I want to do is keep that heel from coming down. I'm up on that back toe the entire time, coming into almost like a 90, 90 degree angle with both legs coming up but not all the way and then back down coming up all right keeping that constant tension remember which leg you start with because then the next time you hit it you're going to go to the other leg yeah and then i'm going to be on the ground i'm going to go into my glute bridge my arms are in my bench press position i'm squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back as i bring my hips up coming up Touching my triceps and then coming back up. Touching my triceps, back up again, all right? Just make sure you don't reach out of it. Keep those shoulder blades really connected at the back as you come up and down. Hips stay up the entire time. Hips do not go up and down with that, all right? We are getting back into it again with our split squats. You wanna make the split squats even harder than just them being partial, you can grab weights. And we're starting in three, two, one. Ah. All right, partial, not all the way up. You're gonna feel that constant tension in those legs. This is gonna maybe feel like a long time. <laughs> three, two, one. Remember which leg you were just on, guys. Coming down into my press, glute bridge press. Glutes are up and hit it. So my hands are at about a 45 degree angle, touching those triceps, come back up. Touching those triceps, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those shoulder blades. Ah. All right, back to my split squat party. Switching it out to my other leg. All right, just a partial, not coming fully up. Ah. Three, two, one. Woo! Back down. My glute bridge press. Hit it. Squeezy, squeezies. Get those hips up, hips up. Yeah, original leg again, original leg. Coming down and up. Oh, but not all the way, just a partial. You got this, you got this. Woo, you might be feeling this right now. Three, two, one. What the what? All right. 
back into my glute bridge. Press. Two, one, go. Going back to the other leg. And you're going. Partial. This is going to be our last set of these partial split squats. Last set. Woo! Burner. Two. One. What? Yeah. Get back down for your glute bridge press. Now again, guys, if you're feeling really gassed, you can always sit one of these out. One of these sets, get some recovery in there and then come back at it. Ugh. Yay! Ha 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 ha! What? Now we have our knee grabs and our swimmers. So again, you're gonna rest while I demo. I'm gonna get all my weights out of the way so I don't hurt myself. Knee grabs. Legs are gonna be long. Arms are in tight to your chest. You're coming forward. Use those shins. Those shins are there for a reason. Bringing those shoulders up over those hips. If you really elongate this at the top, you're going to get a nice stretch in there. Then you're just touching your shoulder blades, so I'm not coming all the way down. Just touching my shoulder blades and then coming back up again, all right? Always end on the down. And then we're going to go into our swimmers. So then we're on our bellies. I want to really lock out those legs so I feel this in my glutes and not my lower back. Splaying out those fingertips, bringing those hands to the shoulders, shoulder blades together at the back, slightly elevating my upper torso as I come up, coming back down. Keep those eyes at about a neutral position so that you keep your, your, your head and your spine in a neutral position, all right? Woo! We're going to rest for about 10 more seconds. I'm gonna grab some water, and then we're going for it. All right. Okay, guys, we're hitting it. In three, two, one. Ah. Or not, or not. Ah, there we go. <laughs> With these knee grabs, you can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. All right, going into my swimmers. And go. Squeeze those shoulder blades, guys, as you bring those hands to the shoulders. <sighs> oh, right. Coming back into my knee grabs. What? And go. Three, two, one, rolling it over. Again, no graceful way, Bob, no graceful way. <laughs> and go. <sighs> All right, 
Coming back. What number are we on? Okay. And we're going. I like that really nice stretch at the top. I'm also getting my feet flat on the ground at the top. Ugh. Nice. All right, here we go. Get after it. Keeping those eyes looking about a few inches in front of you. Coming up into this slight cobra. Woo! Rolling it over. This is going to be our last set of each last set. Yeah. Swim away. Splay those fingers. Get that tension in those arms. I really want you to reach with extended arms forward. And then you're pulling back. Uh. All right. That was it with that. Okay, guys. Grab water, and then we're going right into our next circuit, which is going to be our 21-gun salute. Ah! Why? Why? Woo! We'll see how many sets we can get through. So, do this with me. Grab your dumbbells. We're going to start with our curls. We're gonna start at the top. <laughs> Heather's puppies working out with her. We're starting at the top. We're only coming halfway down and then coming back up again. Halfway down and then back up. <laughs> Your dog wants something, Heather. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I see him. He's plotting against you right now in between your legs. <laughs> Seven of these. Then from there, you're gonna go from the bottom just to the midpoint. Bottom to the midpoint. So that's up a little too high, Heather. So I'm just here. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Now your dog's splooting, yay! <laughs> Sorry, I got a little, little entertainment going on here. Then you're gonna go from the top all the way down. Top all the way down. Or, as we like to call it, a regular curl. <laughs> Squeeze those glutes, guys, seven of these. All right, then we're gonna stick with our weights and we're gonna do seven calf raises with our feet just parallel. Try to come into those big toes so you're not rolling out those ankles. Really tense up those legs so that you don't fall forward. Then we're gonna turn our toes out and then we're coming up again, all right? So again, try to hit that big toe. Squeeze those glutes, guys, squeeze those glutes. That's what the ballerinas do. Then, turning our toes in, all right? Seven of those. Now, if this is a little too hard on your arms, you can always put your weights down for the calves part of this. But if you want a little extra something, something. Seven, all right. Going back into our 21 gun salute, top down. Two. Yeah, we're doing it again. <laughs> Five, six, 
seven. Then bottom up. One, two. Too high, Sarah. Too high. Yep, there it is. All right, then all the way into our full curls. If this is aggravating your elbows at all, go into a neutral grip. Palms facing in. Don't swing these guys. Keep those glutes on. Seven. All right, I am actually gonna put my weights down for my calves. Coming up seven times with my feet parallel. Nice job, guys. All right, turning our toes out. Seven, then toes in, lock out those legs, guys. Come into those big toes. We're just doing two sets of these, and then we're gonna go into our homework. Just like a Tabata, we're doing 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of either push-ups or our archer planks, and then 20 seconds of either cross-body mountain climbers or regular mountain climbers. All right, guys, get ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Knee grabs. More knee grabs. Such good medicine, guys, such good medicine. Hopefully your abs love them as much as mine do. Now, I'm either going into my archer plank or my perfect strict push-up. Archer plank, your feet are gonna be wide. Really raking that hand up along that chest and back down again. Switching it out side to side. Ugh. All right, now I'm either going into my crossbody mountain climbers or regular mountain climbers. You got this, you got this. Here we go, here we go. And now. Just don't A-frame those bodies. Keep those shoulders over those wrists. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And done. You guys did it. That was a bunch of stuff. Great job. Ah. Great job, guys. All right. Remember the story from earlier about the geese and how two of them will help one that's injured or, or ill. Still helping each other out during this crazy, crazy time, guys, and for always and forever being there for each other, right? And we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. You guys know. Bob's grabbing the 70s. <laughs> well, don't put them back, Bob. Now I gotta clean them, so put them on the floor. God damn it. It's okay, no, 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 no. Put them on the floor, just grab a different pair, it's fine. <laughs> Oh no, poor Bob. You want to grab, grab two sets. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>